there, B&B. Um, it's Alex. I decided to do a bit of a video instead of the normal rant um, that I normally do. Um, Solara is about six and a half months old now. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, she started walking uh, when you hold her hand now. And um, Joel actually just left because he had his second visit with her today. Um, he did the normal nappy slide, snide, sorry, um, comments, but for the most part, my friends were here the entire visit, so he didn't really get to say too much. Um, she's, she was sleeping through the night in her crib, and then that whole four month regression thing, whatever, that they talk about all the time happened, and that kind of stopped pretty quickly. Um, so she wakes up about at 4 a.m. pretty much every night, and it's now 1, so I have about 3 hours of me time before that happens. I, um, I also don't sleep, ever, so, so I just realizing how terrible my makeup is, and I, I'm on camera, and, uh, blah, blah, blah. I also have pink hair now, by the way. Um, otherwise, I have a 97 average in university, which is a little, a little insane, if you ask me. And, um, actually my friend is, uh, most likely moving in here for a couple months. Um, she's, uh, a little down on her luck, and I mean, considering how long I was homeless, I really don't think I'm in any position to deny people who need help my help. And she's respectful, she's respectful, and she's good with Lara, so. Can't really complain there. Um, as far as dating is concerned, um, uh, not doing that at the moment. Ah, uh, man. I, I've had my, my issues for the last little while, if you've been keeping up to date. But, other than that, we're doing good. Um, as far as advice goes, if there's any new moms, I would have to say, probably ignore everybody. And <laughs> do your own research. I mean, I, I got told that it was unsafe to pump more than every three hours by the nurse at the hospital trying to convince me to give Lara a formula. Like, it's... I think you really need to do your own research and make your own decisions about certain things. Um, so, do that. Don't rely on word of mouth, because people suck. <laughs> um, I also have a cold, so I apologize if I sound like I'm dying. I, I probably am, but that's okay. If I don't reply anymore after this video, I mean, at least you get to see me, right? Um, other than that, uh, Lara has two teeth, and she crawls everywhere. Um, I'm doing this while she's asleep, because she is a little too shy to it, and, um, she tries to grab everything. And so, I'll get a little video of me and her playing, but it's not going to be nearly as, as long as this one is. <laughs> And other than that, um, I have my exams on April uh, 10th and the 22nd, um, so I have to actually go to the school and meet my instructor for the first time, which, I mean, he thinks I'm a little disturbed, um, I'm taking a psychology of arts and, um, introduction to organizational behavior in school right now, which is, we're a little fun. Not throwing that in Joel's face, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just, you know, being able to tell him that I'm doing good without him. I actually have friends. He's never actually seen me have that many friends over in one time, and pretty much all of my friends in North Bay just didn't want to leave us alone together for obvious reasons, so, um, they all took kind of shifts <laughs> coming over and, uh, not leaving us alone together. So that was really nice of them. Um, now, so far we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Um, I've gone out a few times, uh, without Lara, but as a general rule, I have her with me. I'm pretty much everywhere I go. Um, I go to the bar about once a month now, which is way more than I've ever gone to the bar, but I, I need to get out of the house and go off steam, and that seems to be the best bet. <laughs> um... Well, if you're worried about whether you, uh, whoop, sorry, whether you'll lose the baby weight or not, oh shoot, that was 
more on camera there, my bad. <laughs> um, so, needless to say, uh, you can lose it. <laughs> um, that was pretty much just from breastfeeding. Like, I live on the second floor um, of my apartment, so I go up and down the stairs <laughs> so many times with, like, the car seat and the stroller, and, like, there's a lot of heavy lifting being a mom. Oh, don't mind the, oops, the drooping eyeballs in the background there. Um, there. Oh, it's that way. There. Uh, so anyway, my sister's actually, uh, she's in graphic design, and um, so I have a lot of artwork of hers all over the apartment. Um, I'm going to get a new tattoo, actually, in a couple weeks, so I'm pretty excited about that. And... Uh, you also, I'm sorry about the mess, by the way. I apologize, but, um, okay, well, you'll notice I don't actually, yeah, this is the couch pillow. I'm, I'm on the pillow couch right now, so, um, you'll notice there's not really, um, a TV. I have, I have books, and, well, that's, that's fine and dandy when you, when you don't have a kid, but, I mean, she likes to take them out of the bookshelf and, um, organize them by throwing them on the floor. Uh, that seems to be her thing, and but she she thoroughly enjoys Pokemon, and I I just got internet like real internet in my apartment. Um, I've been like I have data on my phone, and I've been running my laptop through my phone kind of thing. Um, so pretty much every time I've messaged you guys, it's been eating up my data, and so my friends are actually coming over here after they're done at the bar, and I don't know we're gonna like make cookies or something. We already made like three dozen cookies, so, uh, it's rather interesting. <laughs> Other than that, um, yeah, I just, I just, like, I, I get up, and my schedule for Lara right at the moment is, um, she has either four or six ounces every three hours, um, depending on the day. I mean, when she's going through growth spurt, she, she'll eat quite a bit, but as a general rule, I usually throw out about four ounces a day of just excess that she just decides not to finish. Um, and so I feed her at, at 9 a.m. at 12. She sleeps anywhere from an hour to three hours, between 12 and 3. Um, then she's up until, um, 5. Uh, at 5 she goes down to, like, anywhere between 15 minutes and an hour until 6. I feed her again at 6 and then entertain her, jump around, do whatever. Um, tire her out as much as I can for 8, and she goes down to the night at 8. Um, and then after 8, I do homework all night, so, which is what I'm doing now. It is currently 1 in the morning, and I'm, I'm doing a video, so I had, a, I had a little bit of time. Um, I'm just doing a project right now, but nothing, nothing that requires entire attention. I'm actually, I'm thinking of what I want to do with this project, because I have to basically, like, compare two organizations that I have never even heard of, um, and figure out their, the similarities and differences and pretend I know what I'm doing, which is, like, my last project, I had six weeks to do it. I, I did it in two days with no sleep and just a lot of Red Bull, and I got an 87 on it, and so, I don't know, I just kind of, I wing it, and apparently that works for this, for school. I don't, I don't really know, but... Um, kind of, uh, if you want to the camera. I really wish I had a hair thing right now. My hair is driving me insane now that I can see it. Um, hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't have a hair thing. And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have an accent. If you guys notice those things, you guys tend to pay attention to that. Um, by the way, I love British accents. Um, if you are British, uh, that would be awesome if you could upload a photo, or I mean, not a photo, a video, um, of yourself talking. I found a hair thing because I, I still haven't even really unpacked. I mean, I've never had to unpack before. Um, I've been moving, uh, every couple months since I was a kid. So, this unpacking thing is rather daunting. Um, yeah, and, uh, so I just haven't really gotten around to it, but now that she's crawling and I have a, another person living in here, I really need to get on that. Um, 
Otherwise, I finish school entirely on the April 22nd, um, and I'm done until September. And I go back to work um, the first week of July. Um, that was a couple of different options. I, I can go back to my job, and like I'm a, I'm a TA, um, which is a transitional agent. Uh, it's whatever um, for for that company, but I can make the same amount doing half the work at the different company. Um, the only issue is I'd be kind of starting at square one and, you know, have to go through the probationary period and everything again, and that's kind of a little risky for me. Um, you know, I need, I need the stability, but at the same time, that extra money will really help with school during the school year, and I might be able to work out a better schedule so I can continue working through the school year, because as of now, if I stay with my current um, employer, uh, I have to work 30 hours a week on top of school and with Lara, which means like I I don't have any time with her at all. Um, I'm not really fond of that idea. Um, so I'm hoping that they uh, they might be a little bit more lax on how many hours I might need. But so that's been pretty much what I've been trying to decide is if I want to go back to work or risk um, my job security a bit. But only downside I was also I would also kind of Oh, shoot, my friend's here. Gotta go. Yes, yes, it is.